two, welcome to another week of maths learning. And this week, we are learning all about height and length and how we measure it. So, you might be thinking, what does height mean and what does length mean? So when we're thinking about height, we're thinking about how tall something is. When we're thinking about length, we're thinking about how long something is. And we're going to be thinking about how we measure that. So what do we use to measure height and length? Well, we need one of these, a ruler. Okay, now this is a centimetre ruler, so you can see along here we've got numbers and they go all the way to 30. And then at the bottom we've got some other numbers and it goes all the way to 300. Okay, and what it means is these are showing the centimetres, they're counting the centimetres, and these are counting the millimetres. The millimetres are really small. Okay, there are 10 millimetres for every centimetre. Okay, and you're going to need one of these um, rulers, a centimetre ruler, to help you measure in today's lesson. If you don't have one of these, please ask the school office and we can try and provide one for you. Or you can also try and print one out if you want to as well. Um, so you're going to need one of these and you're thinking about measuring. Now I'm going to measure this pen, okay, and you're going to be measuring things in your house as well. So I'm going to measure it here, there we go, and I'm going to look and see how many centimetres it is. Okay, it's on the 17, so it must be 17 centimetres. Is that right? Do you agree? No, I don't agree either, because where have I started from? I've started from about four centimetres in. You must make sure that you are starting from the zero. You're starting right at the end where it starts measuring, okay, and it's lined up. Then you can get a more accurate measurement. So this is a roughly... Well, it's about 13 and a half centimetres. Okay, so that's why I've measured there. And you can have a go at doing some measuring of your own. So if we look, if I share my screen now, you can have a go at doing an activity where you measure. So we've got it says choose five different things to measure in your house using a centimetre ruler. Remember to line up your objects from the zero, which I said in the beginning of your um, ruler. And you can draw little small pictures or just name the object and record how long or how tall the object is. When you're writing it in centimetres, okay, you can write it like this, okay, with a CM for short, okay. Then when you've done that, you can have a go at the second activity. Use your ruler to draw a line that is five centimetres long. Then use your ruler again to draw a, a line that is eight centimetres long. And then, a long, and then another line that has to be longer than four centimetres, but shorter than seven. So they could be different lengths of that line. Um, so there could be lots of different answers for that. Okay, when you're using a ruler, and you're trying to use, when we practice in school, when we're underlining our learning objectives and the dates, make sure you spread out your fingers so it doesn't wobble around lots, okay? And you start from the zero and you draw until you get to five centimetres or eight centimetres, okay? Good luck and have fun and there's also a challenge to try as well. Bye for now.